Now to news making headlines in our state capital. Reparations for descendants of black American slaves are now one step closer to becoming a reality here in California. This week, the first bill calling on the state to get the ball rolling on this matter was formally introduced in the state legislature. 17's Capitol correspondent Aton Wallace spoke with the senator who authored that bill and explains why it could st still be a while until we know what reparations will really look like here in the Golden State. This will be the start. An important start to the reparations process. That's how Gardena Senator Stephen Bradford describes his legislation SB 490. It is the first reparations related bill introduced in the legislature since the state reparations task force submitted its final 1,000 plus page recommendations report to the governor and lawmakers earlier this summer. The reparations. Among the task force's recommendations, a call for the state to create what's known as the California American Freedman Affairs Agency, said to be in charge of one day overseeing and administering reparations to descendants of black American slaves. In order to implement the reparations, whatever it looks like, you need a governmental agency or some type of oversight uh, department to do so. So that's what this bill will do before you can even talk about what reparations look like. You have to put the infrastructure there. As for what reparations will look like, lawmakers and the governor still need to hammer that out. But the reparations task force received a lot of attention for its recommendation that the legislature consider what are described as down payments to go to descendants of anyone who is a black American slave, as well as those in the black community whose ancestors arrived before 1900. At one point, the proposal suggested if descendants meet a certain criteria for the wrongs they've endured, coupled with the amount of time they've lived in California, then they could be eligible for up to $1.2 million. But Bradford, himself a member of the task force, downplayed that. That, saying reparations are about much more than any dollar amount. I think we lose the focus of what we're talking about if we only s s focus on money. Again, this was not about money. It was about, you know, first a recognition of a debt that is owed to these descendants. What he says that could look like? It's many ways to compensate folks outside of a cash payment. We can have continued education. We can have uh, ongoing health care, free health care, you know, tax relief. As for the end goal for slave descendants? To make it difference and have an impact on those individuals' lives. Now, a timeline here. Bradford says he wants to see the proposed new state agency up and running before he's termed out of the legislature in 2024. As for the governor, well, he says he supports reparations in principle, but needs more time to review the task force recommendations before coming out with a formal policy. Reporting from the state capitol, Aton Wallace, 17 News.